Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional farm, I use nutritional supplements for other healthcare practitioners, use toxic pharmaceutical drugs, and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health, vitality, well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have a health challenge you need help dealing with or a loved one has a health challenge you want to help with, call us, uh, you can give us a call at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010, got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your favorite longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. For a one-time $25 fee, you can join the Brightside Ben team. You can also just purchase your products at the wholesale price if you like. For a one-time $25 fee, call 866-735-2470 for more info. Or Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Also, would like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and now our new Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist. If you're dealing with aging skin or dark spots or acne blemishes or if you just have dry skin, Dry skin, by the way, is a health challenge, a health condition. It's not a cosmetic condition. If you have dry skin, you have a health problem. You have a cell problem. You got a skin cell problem. And the way you deal with dry skin is not to put a moisturizer on. That's the dumbest thing we do as a culture is we put moisturizers on. There's no such thing as a moisturizer. It doesn't exist. Think about it. Water is moisture, right? How is a, how is a cream with wax and... And, uh, and emulsifiers and preservatives and fragrance, how's that going to help you have, put more water in your skin? Oh, but it's going to keep the barrier. No, it's not. You have, to, you have to keep your skin painted. You have to keep your skin covered up with moisturizer 24-7 to do anything for your barrier. And besides, you're just going to end up suffocating your skin. Moisturization and dry skin are both, are both cell issues, as everything else in the body is. To have moist skin, you need vitamin C, you need vitamin A, on a regular basis, probably alpha hydroxy acids on a regular basis. That's and you, of course, you need to be taking care of your internal nutrition. Essential fatty acids are very important for keeping your skin hydrated and soft and moist as it should be. Vitamin A is very important. The mineral zinc and calcium play a role. Even protein. Do you know protein amino acids play a role in making sure that your skin stays moist as it's as it's supposed to be? And I'm, you know, it's not just eating, it's not just eating protein, it's making sure you're absorbing and processing protein correctly. There's so many things that go into having healthy, beautiful skin from a nutritional standpoint that the silliness of our, uh, the way we treat the skin, of rubbing stuff on and hoping for the best, it's just crazy. If you want some real, true, effective, powerful skin health products that are nutritional skin health products, you want to go to truthtreatments.com, check out, especially check out our Truth Transformal C Serum, but all our Truth Treatments, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so speaking of cells, we've been talking about 
well, we're always talking about cells, but we've been talking about the outside part of cells, the outside of the outside, the membrane on the membrane, the fuzzy jelly sugar trees, we call them, the glycocalyx on top of the cell that plays such a significant role when it comes to pretty much all health challenges, autoimmunity, cancer, heart disease, especially the big ones, metabolic syndrome, kidney disease. The sugar coating can be a source of nutrients in foods. We can eat this, we can eat the glycocalyx. When we eat the glycocalyx, when we eat foods that contain rich amounts of these polysaccharides, these glycocalyx polysaccharides, if you're just tuning in, the glycocalyx is the technical name for the sugar coating. When we eat the sugar coating, our cells get better. When we eat the sugar coating, our cells make the sugar coating. This is one of the, one of the principal ideas of nutrition. If all disease is cell disease, you want to have healthy cells to be healthy, you got to eat what's in a cell. And that includes the glycocalyx. This is why eggs are such a powerful food. When you eat everything that's in a cell, whether you're eating the glycocalyx or you're eating the cell membrane or you're eating cells in the form of eggs or other things, uh, other ways to get cells, when you're eating the stuff that's in a cell, an unprocessed food that has all the stuff in the cell, your cells get better. You can eat the glycocalyx and you'll get better. You're, the glycocalyx, by the way, when you eat the polysaccharides of the glycocalyx, it doesn't just help you build one. A glycocalyx, it also turns on your immune system. The glycocalyx stimulates the immune system. It turns it on. That's what makes these polysaccharides so important for cancer. Talk about, you guys have all heard of the fucoid Z, obviously. I talk about it all the time. We'll talk about it a little later, not today, tomorrow. The fucoid Z and fucoidin and Z radical from longevity work because they provide the body with a glycocalyx. And the glycoca uh, a portion of the glycocalyx is specific for turning on the immune system, which is why. If you Google fucoidin and cancer, you'll get page after page after page of all the ways fucoidin helps the body fight cancer and prevent cancer. The glycocalyx also gives us the raw materials to make stuff. Remember, the body is built like raisin bread, raisins and bread, except we call it cells and stuff. The raisins are the cells, the stuff is the, 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 the thing that comes out of the raisins. In the body, you got cells, and the cells make the extracellular matrix. That's the technical name. Well, guess what? A huge portion of the extracellular matrix is the glycocalyx. So when you eat the glycocalyx, you help the body make the stuff. You help the cells make the stuff. We talked about mushrooms as a source of the glycocalyx building nutrients. One of nature's best, absolutely. One of nature's best sources of these polysaccharides are mushrooms, all kinds of mushrooms, even though we just talked about a couple. My favorite is cordyceps, which is actually not a mushroom, but it's still rich in polysaccharides. Veggies are a good source of these glycocalyx building nutrients. And then last, uh, yesterday we talked about, uh, we started talking about seaweed as an incredible source of glycocalyx nutrition. Seaweed is probably, I'm not, I'll go out on a limb and I'll say it's the best, I, I don't know if I want to say it's the best, but it's one of the best. It could be the best source of glycocalyx nutrients that there are on the planet. It's absolutely packed with these polysaccharides. I think I will go out on a limb. I'm going to say it is nature's best source of these glycocalyx nutrients, seaweed. I can't think of, there may be one I'm missing, but I, it's, it's, one, it's in the top two or three, that's for sure. And because of the link between glycocalyx disruption and disease, when our glycocalyx is, break, is messed up, it's disturbed, that's when we get heart disease. Heart disease is a glycocalyx problem, period. Tell that to the next doctor who wants to give you a cholesterol statin drug in order to pre prevent heart disease. You'll be much better off eating seaweed, building your glycocalyx. Heart disease, vascular disease, cholesterol deposits, these are all caused by disruptions at the level of the, the blood vessel glycocalyx. Cancer is a glycocalyx issue. Autoimmunity is a glycocalyx issue. Pretty much all of the health challenges are glycocalyx issues, which is why you want to be eating seaweed which is nature's best source of glycocalyx building sugars. We talk about protein and fats all the time. We talk about minerals. We talk about EFAs all the time. How often do we talk about the benefits of healthy sugars, of glycocalyx building substances? It's too bad because a huge part of the body is made up of this stuff. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Back on the bright 
Flipside. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 in Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. And you could purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, videos, all the longevity products. So join the team now link that you can click on. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, if you want to be in business for yourself, or you can call 866-735-2470 to order products or to sign up from the for the Brightside Ben team. If you uh, want to work for yourself, work out of your home, make as much or as little money as you want. Some folks are making 100 bucks. Some folks are making 50 bucks a month. Some folks are making $1,000 a month. Some folks are making 10,000. Some folks are making 20,000 or 100,000. I know people making $100,000 a month helping spread the word about longevity products and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It really stuff sells itself. You don't really have to do much, especially if you run, it, run into somebody who's never supplemented, which is still most people have not really gotten into supplementation, even if they take an herb here and there, a vitamin here and there, they haven't really gotten into supplementation. And when you turn somebody on who's on medication or who's got a long-term health challenge to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or any of the all-around longevity products, the longevity products that provide a lot of features and benefits like uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine or the or the Healthy Start Pack, or even the Sweeties, or the uh, or the Glucogel Caps. These are multifunctional types of products. When you or uh, nutritional supplements, when you put somebody, turn somebody on to these nutritional supplements, and they've never supplemented correctly before, they notice huge differences, and they buy, and you change lives. You change li- You change lives. You improve people's quality of life, and you make money at the same time. It's the perfect win-win business. Call eight six six seven three five twenty four seventy. For more info or sign up right at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. So we're always talking about protein. We're always talking about fats. We're always talking about minerals. We're always talking about EFAs when it comes to health. But we seem to forget that there is something on earth that is actually the most abundant substance on earth by far, and that's the polysaccharides, the sugars. We talk about protein and fats and minerals and EFAs and vitamins, and, but how often do we talk about these complex sugars? And one of the greatest, all-time great sources of these complex sugars that help us form that glycocalyx or seaweed, which are now, maybe in the last 10 years or so, being explored in great earnestness by the food industries, drug industries, cosmetic industries, for their really uh, nutritional business, for, for their really incredible biochemical properties. The ocean is a jungle. It's a tough place to live in the ocean. Everywhere is tough to live. But competition in the ocean, competition is nature's way. Competition is nature's way of doing business. Pretty much all macroscopic creatures are competing with each other for resources and for mating. But in the ocean, the competitive environment is over the top. Everything is eating everything else. And it's because of the abundance. Because there's such abundant life in the ocean that resources are, everything's competing for resources and for territory. It's a fishy fish world. It's a doggy dog world on Earth. It's a fishy fish world on the ocean, in the ocean. By the way, do you ever wonder why life teems in such a great abundance in, in, in the ocean? What is it about the ocean where you have this incredible life? All the colors and all the different life forms. Almost every day they find a new life form in the ocean. Multiple new life, life forms. What is it about the ocean that, that is so conducive to life? The ocean is a living broth. It's an electrically active living broth. All life can just, it just sucks up the nutrients that are in the ocean. The ocean is pure, the ocean is pure, aside from the water, it's pure mineral and also organic substances from dying out, from dead animals, because everything's dying and everything's dead in the ocean and it doesn't go anywhere, it stays in the water. You've got all these organic compounds and you've got all this life. You've got all this, uh, 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 minerals, you know, all, all this electrical energy in the ocean. The ocean is just an incredible living broth. And by the way, inside our body is an ocean too. And the cells inside our body are kind of like ocean creatures. And this liquid medium, this liquid life medium, whether it's inside the body or outside the body in the ocean, is what's responsible for, for giving everything life. Anyway, because the competition for resources in the ocean uh, is so intense... Plants and animals in sizes from 
microscopic to uh, algaes to the largest living creatures in the planet, which are whales. All these creatures, all these living creatures in, in the ocean, because of its great uh, uh, com competition, they've developed these really incredible adaptive biochemicals to help it adjust to all the stuff that's going on in the ocean. Biochemicals that we can use as food, biochemicals that we can use as medicine, biochemicals that we can use in, in nutrition, biochemicals that can be used in industry and agriculture and health. The search for these chemicals in the ocean, they actually call bioprospecting. And you don't have to bioprospect very long to find the single most nutritionally packed substance in the sea, and that is what we call seaweed. Seaweed is a, seaweed is a uh, plant. It's actually not a plant. It's a form of vegetation. It's actually a seaweed. is actually a very interesting, uh, very interesting substance. It's a cross between bacteria and a plant. It's a bacteria plant. That's what a seaweed is. It's a bacteria that can do photosynthesis like a plant. It's a solar-powered bacteria. Just like a plant turns the uh, sun into material, that's what a seaweed does. How interesting is that? And it also contributes oxygen to the ocean. The seaweed is, uh, manifests, plants in general, but seaweed on top of the ocean manifests something called the, the photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect is turning light into matter. It's magic, pure and simple magic. It's how light gets turned into solid matter via this thing called the photoelectric effect. It only occurs at the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest nanoscopic levels inside of a plant. If, you, if we could only zoom inside a plant cell or zoom inside any cell, we would see the most amazing things. One of the things we'd see is the sun getting transferred into matter or photons getting transferred into electrons is how you would say it. In the macroscopic way of looking at it, the sun gets turned into matter, into stuff. In the, in the nanoscopic, femtoscopic, picoscopic, which is really, really, really small, you'll see uh, photons, pieces of light, getting turned into electrons. And this happens inside seaweed. It happens inside plant cells, and it happens inside seaweed. Seaweed being a cross between a bacteria and a plant. It's like a bacteria that can do the photoelectric effect. Now, these bacteria are extremely interesting. These bacteria plants, I should say, plantariums or, or, or bacteria, I don't know how you want it, whatever you want to call it, bacteria plant. These bacteria plant cells can live by themselves. That's what we call spirulina. Chlorella, by the way, is a animal in a plant rather than a bacteria in a plant, a little bit different. It's more advanced than spirulina. Nonetheless, spirulina uh, is an individual algae, an individual component of seaweed. When it gobs up together, that's when you get seaweed. So spirulina is like a little, is just the individual cells. When it gobs up together, you got seaweed, and they're both incredibly healthy. I'm sure most of you guys have heard about spirulina. Everything that's true about seaweed is going to be true about spirulina because seaweed is made up of spirulina. Spirulina provides all the same. Uh, spirulina is ridiculously powerful. If you don't want to eat seaweed, eat spirulina. I don't know why people don't like seaweed. Because it is quite delicious if it's prepared correctly. So seaweeds aren't even weeds. They're like, they're like plant. They're they're like uh, bacteria weeds, I guess you would say. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. I'm pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben, and we are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and also brightsideben.com. You can purchase Longevity products off the websites as well. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Please check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, and now our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist made with fulvic minerals, plant-derived fulvic minerals, the source of all life. Between, the, min between the, the minerals in the earth, or the minerals in the ocean for that matter, and the sun, and the plants, you've got life. The th powerful tr that's the powerful trinity of life. The sun, the minerals, or the dirt, if you will, and the plants, the livingness, the plants. 
that come from the interaction between the minerals, the living minerals in the sun. And that all happens in a watery medium. It all happens in a liquid medium. Whether it's on Earth or whether it's in the ocean, that's how life begins. The liquid medium acts like the womb. The liquid medium is the womb. And the sun and the minerals give us in the liquid medium, in, with, uh, within that liquid medium, within that womb, give us the plants. And there we have life. All right, we'll continue talking about all that tomorrow as we talk about uh, seaweed and the glycocalyx. Want to read a couple stories here, and uh, we don't have any calls today, so we'll just read a bunch of stories because I got a whole stack. I always want to read these to you guys, and I never get a chance to, so we will do that today. This is from uh, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. High serum omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids are linked to a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. A new study from Eastern Finland shows that high serum omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acid concentrations are linked to a significantly reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. This is so important because not a day goes by when I don't hear from some nutritionist or even some uh, layperson about how we get too many omega-6s and we don't get enough omega-3s and you gotta, don't have to supplement with your omega-6s, you just got to supplement with your omega-3s. Wrong! First of all, you need more omega-6s than you, you need omega-3s. Omega-3s are important. I'm not saying they're not, but you need more omega-6s. Oh, but we get all those oils that have omega-6s. No, we don't. We get oils that should have omega-6s, but because we fry them and process them and refine them and store them in clear bottles at the supermarket, we don't even get the omega-6s. So most of us are running around deficient in omega-6s as well as omega-3s. In fact, if you just supplement with omega-3s, you run risks of throwing off the balance the other way. Too much omega-3s. So you want to make sure you're supplementing with both. Omega, in my opinion, supplementing with omega-6s and omega-3s. And when you're using your oils that contain omega-6s and omega-3s, don't cook with them. You should never cook with oils. In fact, as Dr. Wallach has said, you know, it's probably a good idea to be really careful with oils. He says stay away from them totally. I'm saying just be really careful with your oils. You need omega-6s, you need omega-3s, and you need vitamin E, which we haven't talked about in a while, but we will probably soon, hopefully, because vitamin E protects the oils. Remember, the membrane is made up of oil. The cell membrane is made up largely, or partially anyway, of these omega-6 and omega-3s. Omega-3s are found in the nervous system, in the cells of the nervous system, in the brain and the eyes. That's why if you supplement with omega-3s when you're pregnant, you get a smarter baby. That's why fish, is, fish is all, which is rich in omega-3, has always be, been considered to be brain food. You get better vision if you use omega-3s. If you're losing your vision, you might want to think about supplementing with omega-3s. Or if you have vision problems. But you need omega-6s also. Omega-6s initiate the healing response, which is called inflammation. That's why they'll tell you, oh, omega-6s are pro-inflammatory. Sometimes people will say that. Well, yeah, they are, but inflammation is not a bad thing. Inflammation is part of healing. Inflammation is protection, so the body can heal. You need omega-6s for the inflammatory response. You need both omega-6s and omega-3s is what I'm saying here. You need them in foods, which was how we're supposed to get our supplements, Omega-6s are going to be found basically in, in grains and seeds and nuts. Eggs are also a good source of uh, omega-6s. Omega You'll find uh, some omega-6s in meat. There's a really interesting omega-6, by the way, called GLA, which is supremely important, unbelievably important, maybe the most important of all the omega-6s. GLA is great for women who are having uh, menstrual problems, also great for if you have eczema. For skin health issues, all the omega, all the uh, omegas and the essential fatty acids are important for the skin, especially important for the skin. In fact, it, they were discovered when it was noticed that when they took out the EFAs, they took out foods that should have EFAs from uh, the diet of animals. Their skin would get lousy. They they get eczema and they get a really dry skin. If it got bad enough, the deficiency got bad enough, they couldn't make a barrier at all, a skin barrier at all. But uh, omega fatty acids are incredibly important for the barrier. That's omega-6s, by the way. Omega-3s are important for inflammation for, uh, uh, as anti-inflammatories. They're important for the immune system. That's where they play a role in the skin. They're both important in the skin, but omega-6s play a role in moisturizing the skin, hydrating the skin, keeping skin cells growing as they should, developing the barrier. And if you're one of those folks that says, well, I don't need any, any omega-6s because I'm eating lots of corn oil and safflower oil and sunflower oil, which should have omega-6s, there's a good chance you're deficient in those. In fact, if you have any skin health issue, including dry skin, 
you want to consider getting on the ultimate EFAs or the ultimate EFA plus from longevity, which are packed in omega-6s and omega-3s. And while you're at it, throw in some vitamin A, which is also important for dry skin. All right, from uh, the University of, Cal- uh, University of California at San Francisco, mindful eating and, med- and meditation may lead to better metabolic health. How do you like that? A diet and an exercise program that included mindfulness training resulted in participants having lower metabolic risk factors compared to those who underwent the same program without training, according to a study led by researchers at UC San Francisco. Metabolic risk factors including large waste, high blood pressure, elevated blood sugar and blood fats, and low levels of, uh, and, uh, low levels of HDL cholesterol. These, the presence of these factors warrants a risk of metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is pretty much, uh, it's associated with diabetes and blood sugar problems, but it, it's pretty much the cause of almost all our health misery, including cancer, heart disease, autoimmune disease. All of it has some aspect of metabolic syndrome in it. Liver disease, kidney disease, obesity. How do you like that? Mindful eating just and mindfulness. Or, I'm sorry, mindful eating and meditation. This is so important because we get this idea that when we're sick, we go to a doctor. This is a belief system, a belief structure. It's called a meme, M-E-M-E. This is a, this is a, a, a mind virus that says that when we're sick, we have to go to the doctor. It says that we have to be somehow the med- we have to be medicalized into being healthy. Even if we're not sick, we're told we've got to be medicalized so we can stay not sick. We, we're told even if we're healthy, we've got to be medicalized. We've got to be medicalized at every turn. And when you read stuff like this about how mindful eating and meditation and omega-3s and omega-6s can play such a significant role in health, it's so liberating. It's so empowering. It takes the power away from the medical model. It puts it where it belongs, back in our laps, back in our kitchens, back in our bathrooms, back in our living rooms. It takes the whole concept of medicine and, and restores it to its rightful home, which is our home. All right, 844 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll take a break and come back right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we have all our lines open, so we'll just get you some more stories here. 844-236-6010 is our number, and the longevity products can all be had by calling 866-735-2470. That's the phone number for the bright side, Ben team. From, uh, this is from University University of California, San Francisco. How to sleep like a pro athlete. To step up your game... If you want to improve your game, and we're all athletes, by the way, just getting our butt out of bed in the morning is an athletic event. So we all got to, if an athlete's doing something for their performance, it's something we want to think about at least, or and maybe experiment with at the very least, but more than likely incorporate into our daily program because we're all performing. Or living life is a performance event. It's like an athletic event. How to sleep like a pro athlete? Number one, sleep at least seven hours a night. Elite athletes should get more. Number two, maintain a regular bedtime and wake-up time. According to uh, Dr. Andre Ma, or Sherry Ma, from the University of San Francisco, our bodies, are like, our, our bodies like regularity and will anticipate sleep with a regular sleep schedule. So you'll, if you have a regular sleep, sleep schedule, say you go to bed every night at 9 o'clock, you'll notice that right around 8 or 8.30, you will just naturally start to feel tired the body will kind of get into a habit of falling asleep at 9 o'clock. Same thing when you wake up. You wake up, your body will start to wake up right before the alarm clock goes off. You ever, you ever notice that? If you ever want to try to, if you're ever in a situation without an alarm clock, just talk to yourself before you go to bed. Talk, tell yourself what time you want to get up, but do it a lot. Do it like 10 times, 20 times. Do it as you're falling asleep. Watch what happens. It's pretty amazing. Number three, implement a wind-down routine. A 20 to 30-minute wind-down routine helps you transition to sleep. That's Dr. Sherry Moss speaking. Reading is great. A real book, not an iPad. iPads, by the way, emit blue light. Blue light can definitely be a problem when you go to sleep. If you're watching TV before you go to bed, you're going to get a hit of blue light, and blue light is very stimulating. You want red light. That's why they have red light districts. 
red light districts are where people wind down, where people relax, supposedly. Number four, evaluate your sleep environment. Make your room like a cave, Dr. Sherry Moss says. You want it to be dark, quiet, and cool, and comfortable. Use blackout curtains, eye masks, use earbuds and earplugs. Even if you think you don't have a problem sleeping, if you use earbuds and earplugs, you're going to get better sleep. Set your temperature to uh, 67 or 68 degrees. We sleep better when it's a little bit cool. Reduce your intake of caffeine, obviously. Take power naps. Power naps are great. You don't want to take too long a nap, but just a 10 or 15 minute nap in the middle of the day is a great way to uh, rejuvenate yourself in the middle of the day. You don't want to take too long a nap because that will keep you from falling asleep at night. All right. Uh, I, think we have, I think we have a call here. I'm not sure. Let me see if we have a call. Is that a call, Jason? Mm, we'll take a shot here. Greetings. What's going on? How you doing? Welcome to the bright side. Nope. No call. Okay. So we'll just continue here. You guys are being all shy today. Uh, this is from CNN. Is chocolate good or bad for health? I hear this all the time about how chocolate is supposed to be good for us. Well, yes and no. In the world of nutrition, just because a food has good stuff in it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be a good food. Chocolate indeed has some wonderful medicine in it, really incredible medicine, especially polyphenols, which we talked about a couple months back. These polyphenols, which are, are found throughout nature, are really concentrated in chocolate. It's the polyphenols that actually make chocolate very unpleasant. See, when we think of chocolate, we think of chocolate bars. We think of candy chocolate. Candy chocolate has a lot of sugar and a lot of fat. Those polyphenols, those bitter compounds, those alkaloids have been neutralized. They've been covered up. If you ever want, if you want to taste what real chocolate tastes like, go try some baking chocolate. It doesn't taste so good, but it's very medicinal. Even dark chocolate, which has less sugar and less fat, has more cocoa, is better for you than, than milk chocolate. But, you know, we got to be honest here. If you like chocolate, that's great. <laughs> You know, I'm all for it, and I'm not a big chocolate fan myself, but if you like chocolate, that's great, but be honest about it, you know? It's not the polyphenols you like, it's the sugar and it's the fat. If you like sugar, if you if you're, can't get off of sugar and fat, try more protein and more good fat. Try a protein, an amino acid called glutamine, or glutamine-rich proteins, meat and dairy, eggs, and use coconut oil. And I know about coconut oil, blah, 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 but I, I like coconut oil. Coconut oil, by the way, is not just a source of oil. Coconut oil is actually a source of antioxidants. Coconut oil, unrefined coconut oil, pure coconut oil, contains uh, uh, all kinds of things, ferulic acid. We talked about some of these a few months back. A lot of these polyphenols and phenolic acids that you find in, in vegetation and vegetables are found in coconut oil. Coconut oil is part of coconut. And all those polyphenols are oil-soluble. They come out in the oil. So when you're eating coconut oil, unrefined coconut oil, you're getting more than just oil. It's a, it's a powerful nutritional food. And I know that there's a problem with oils, but coconut oil is very stable. Just use unrefined coconut oil. Use it within a couple of weeks. Use it fresh. Make sure it tastes good. You know, it doesn't have a rancid taste to it. And uh, now you guys are all calling. Now that i got three minutes. Got to call in early on the bright side. Anyway, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's see if I can squeeze a couple calls in. Uh, ba, 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 let's go to Cliff in Ontario. Good morning, Cliff. How you doing, buddy? Cliff? Cliff? We have Cliff? Hello. Hey, Cliff. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm turning it down. Yeah. Hey, Cliff. What's going on, man? Are you in Toronto? No, I'm in Ottawa. Oh, okay. I'll be in Toronto next uh, so 10 days. Four hours away. Okay. Sorry I won't see you. So what's going on? How can we help you, Cliff? Yeah, the re what I'm call calling, comment on a couple of things. The first thing is when you are commenting on omega-6s yeah. and, uh, like, skin and dry yeah. skin. Yeah. Like, years ago, I had real problems with my, my elbows. They would, like, you know, get kind of almost, like, raw and dry. And I thought, oh, well, my goodness, I'm doomed to, uh, like, um, like, going to the doctor and getting sap for it. But I went to see the naturopath, and she said, oh, just eat more oil. And, and I ate nuts and stuff like that. It all went away. Nice. And every time I get it, they're just like you said, actually. And, and uh, it worked. And then also for sleeping, like, uh, I have real problems sleeping because, like, I'm a shift worker. And, and uh, I have a lot of things you were talking about, the eye mask. And uh -huh. uh, I'm trying to, like, make my apartment more comfortable 
Uh, and this is compounded uh, the, with the fact that I'm, I'm in SSRI uh, withdrawal. So basically, How's that I'm, going for you? How's that going for you? It's hard, but like yeah. I found a strategy that, that was, you were helpful, actually. You, you gave me a strategy, but I'm also following Peter Bregan's strategy uh, for, for um, uh, withdrawal. What are you and, doing? Well, what I'm doing is, is like it's supposed to be uh, you go to the compound pharmacist, and then you do a 10% uh, reduction from, uh, and then uh, uh, for about four weeks, and then you do a 10% from the total, you know, the okay. previous rule. But, but what I've been doing is now, like, uh, I'm doing, I just dropped a quarter of the pill. Like, I was taking, like, uh, olanzapine, uh, well, higher doses when I was younger, but I've been gradually tapering off it over a few years. I, I tapered off a lot of stuff. And How's your sleep? Like, How's it affecting your sleep? Well, because when you go into SSRI drug withdrawal, it affects your sleep. And yeah, you like, can't sleep. You got well, this big. Man, this is what? why you don't ever do it like all at once. You got to go like really, yeah. really slow. And, you, and you ever hear this thing called a serotonin storm? No. So that's when you people try to withdraw quickly. Or quickly, they just they get a big old jolt of serotonin, and it's not very pleasant. But the uh, sleep is man. sleep's definitely a problem when you're withdrawing. That's for sure. Go ahead. And I'm sorry. It's a, real, it's a real problem, actually. It can ruin your life, uh, especially when you got a job because it affects your job and everything. But what I, I noticed is that people, I went online, right? And uh, I, I, I saw, I started just accumulating a lot of information. And then the more and more I withdraw from these things, the sharper I get, you know, so I can even facilitate the withdrawal better because I have more information. Nice. And I noticed that the thing is, is that with these drugs, is that, like, let's say you withdraw too quickly, you can have, like, a relapse or, you know, they would say, oh, therefore, it's your illness because look at the way what's happening to you. But it's the fact that you're doing a rapid drug withdrawal. And, and then what you got to do is, like, you got to do it over a long period of time, especially, you know, like, let's say they say, uh, let's say 10 percent or even, let's say, 20 percent in in four weeks well don't do it in four weeks do it over 90 days you know because it takes 90 days so the effect and then if you do it slow you're gonna you start feeling weird what do you what are you doing for, are you doing any supplements uh not really uh, get on I get on some that. vitamin get on the b complex as soon as you can okay especially vitamin b6 and also zinc and vitamin c Hey, I'm out of time, Cliff. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it, man. Good luck with everything. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm sorry I left you on hold, but uh, you got to call in early on the bright side. Try to call in at the bottom of the hour before the bottom of the hour. We'll get to everybody if we can. Uh, please check out my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products, truthtreatments.com for our truth skin health products. And have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Join me, 